I had to start the recording and then start the game. I just added three minutes to my editing time. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Skulls, one, two, three, four, and five. All right. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. And my goal with my videos is to keep them as easy to edit as possible. <laughs> so even if like we're in the middle of a conversation right now, I still like will mute the first 10 seconds or whatever to do a slight intro. Mm. Is that the uh, Covenant ship that we destroyed? Did we destroy a Covenant ship? Last time, yes. That was the slip space uh, makeshift bomb. That's I right. don't know. That might be the implication. That might I be what they were. That the stuttering is. <laughs> that was not part of the original cutscene. All right, now you can see that. Uh, yeah. no, that sh. Uh... It looks big enough to be. No, it, it's the right class of ship. I'm just trying to think. I don't know. That that might be what that that might be a good presumption. Yeah. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't know where we just fell from. So well, we we fell or directly. We fell, or something. Uh, we fell directly under under well under it, you know, planet side. Oh okay. Well, that would make sense for it to be a. New Alexandria. This is only 500 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope aliens are real. Uh, we all do. I just hope they're friendly. A lot of people think they are. A lot of people think they currently live on Earth. Uh-huh. Friendly is probably not the right term. Coexist. Coexist. Ability. Right. Yeah. Have you seen uh, any of the research on the void? No. So, uh, like, somewhere out in space, there's apparently, like, a gigantic black spot. This is Kilo Dispatch. Where, like, nothing, no light exists. And it's somehow expanding. So somebody believes that, like, a... Some people believe that a Type 3 civilization lives out there and it's just like extinguishing stars for energy. Hmm. Which would be awesome. <laughs> like, think about the kind of energy you would need to have to suck the energy out of a star. You'd need the energy of a star. <laughs> yeah. But like, what kind of power demands would you have that require that? I don't know. Capital ship, maybe. Capital ship. But, fun fun little detail to point out before I forget. Um, we were wounded by the fall, and uh, we start the level wounded. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Good, good little attention to detail. There's your immersion at work. <laughs> That's good immersion. That's the right way to do immersion, I think. I mean, they didn't start us out at... Almost no health. They just started us out a little bit damaged. Well, we had our re-entry kit, you know. We're, we're, we, we have it. We have it figured out. There are so many suicide grunts. Oh, I. Right, I'm gonna grab the Steedler. Because we're gonna want it for a section up ahead. Eco boom. Oh, shoot the rat! I found a uh, health booster. Ah! Oh! I will avenge thee. Copy Kilo Four Zero, firing FPF One at your command. Oh no, that's that's, 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 armor, that's armor. That's armor lock. I don't want that. No, no, no. There's a a cage up here that has a a health pack in it. Oh, a health pack. Ah! 
I thought you yeah. meant the um, armor ability. The one that regenerates your health? Yes. The only other Is one that, that I in like. This game? Yes, I, I used it a lot on the last level. It's the only armor ability. It's... it's the only other armor ability I like aside from sprint. Oh! <laughs> By that the way, does. I thought that was a completely unique ability that they added to uh, the single player version three. Uh, no. So, by the way, you uh, if you can't make it out over the radio, um, they are firing Mac rounds oh, okay. into the city. That's not good. I, but, but it's to give you the idea of basically how desperate the situation is. Is They're firing danger close to try to get rid of Corvette ships um, hovering above. Yeah, they're not supposed to shoot them in atmosphere, though, right? Correct. And you're not supposed to fire them in civilian <laughs> cities. <laughs> yeah. Or over, you know, where your troops are. Grunt body just flying all over the place. Oh! Come on, come on. I hate skirmishers. I hate hitting their tiny, tiny heads. Got him. Hooray! I now need another health pack, though. Oh, I... Alright, this coming up ahead is why I wanted this needler. Oh, here's one. Oh, no, you already got it. I got it. Just gotta keep going forward. Bad guys. I picked up a spiker. Aye, brutes. So a little detail, a little detail that gets overlooked and was, I guess, pseudo retcon from. Um, there's a sniper rifle up on top of here where I am. If you want to use it, um, a detail that didn't become relevant. Um, so Halo One obviously follows after this. Um, uh Remember, we are on Legendary. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, Halo 1 follows after this. The Brutes, allegedly, in the expanded lore, are supposedly the ones responsible for the invasion of Reach. Um, it seems to just kind of be an ancillary detail, in that, what I mean, that word means it basically just doesn't matter for audience at home. Yeah. But, I guess, if you want to know who decided to invade Reach with a big, giant, massive armada. It was the Brutes. Unless, of course, 343 retcon bat again. I don't know. <laughs> My knowledge of lore is pre-343. And that is a phrase that's actually used by the Halo community. <laughs> Do you think they ruined Halo? Do they ruin Halo? Um, they're working on it. Uh oh. Halo Four is the the most hit and miss Halo ever, even more so than Reach. And Halo Five is an absolute dumpster fire. Except the multiplayer is probably one of the best in the series. So it's another right. hit and miss. <laughs> Except the the campaign is actually just bad. Oh man, is it bad? Oh man, I hate not having headshot weapons. I'm dead. Checkpoint. Oh, where's our checkpoint? Oh come on. Oh, wonderful. You die. You die, bat! I really need this. Uh, this you, back here. you need to get on that sniper rifle and start making some headshots here. That's all I got, four shots. 
I know, because somebody wants the Famine Skull on. Oh! Alright, there we go. You got him. I did, but now we have to deal with once this door opens. There's some uh, more assault rifle ammo back here if you want to. Oh, I'm not picking that up. I'm going to use the spiker. It does, I, or, well, I think it does more damage. It should, technically. Alright, now this door is going to open up. Elevator in the atrium goes down to yeah. The and throw a grenade. Kill There's a bunch one. of spikers back here for ammo if you need them. Okay. Now, right now, what That's I want one is more sniper shot. What I want right now, more than anything, is either needler ammo or a headshot weapon. Yeah. Because the needler, at least I can super combine with it. It is regarded as a power weapon. Hey, look at DMR. Uh, I guess I should have shared a sort of mechanic with you. Uh, if your shields are down and you pick up a health pack, your shields will instantly st will start to recharge. Oh. So you can use that. that. You can use that as a means of uh, emergency, getting some um, defense back. Right yeah. But, I believe you pointed out something that we were kind of complaining about how um, headshots solve all the problem. Here's an example of an enemy that actually, they came up with a solution for it. They have helmets that you have to knock off first. Yeah, I think that's an interesting feature. <clears throat> now, they should have taken it a step further and make them more like the brutes from Halo 2, where they're very aggressive and they chase you. But, you know, yeah. so be it. Need the ammo back here. I don't know where you're at, but I'm trying not to die right now. I only have one health point left. <laughs> I too need a health. Oh. Point. Uh, there's one back there on the bottom floor. That's fine. Am I already out of DMR ammo? Man, that famine skull. Yep. Why is the civilian running towards the bad guys? Uh, cause, you know, AI. Yep. Need a ammo here if you need it. I will be needing it. I'm dead. Crap. Oh. And there's a health pack right next to where I'm at. Or where I was at. But I, this is my favorite level of the Halo Reach levels, because it's one of the few times when you're actually alone. What do you mean? Uh, you don't have any of the other annoying squad mates to, to say uh. things that are ineffectual. And it's the only level that actually reminds me of the book The Fall of Reach and the whole point of this exercise. And I guess I can get into, finally, why I don't particularly like this game. Because, as you said, you, you asked me, why do I hate it? And I said, I don't hate it. I mostly just don't like how... I had the unrealistic, and I'm, I'm freely admitting that, uh, expectation that I was getting the Fall of Reach, right? The book? Oh. Uh, That's the problem. Yeah. That's my problem. And my issues boil down it was to... in your head. I, I, because like, I already had an idea of what the Fall of Reach is supposed to be, and the significance of it, and this game doesn't really embody that in any way. Like, you don't play as Spartan 2s. First, first and foremost, okay, that's wrong. 
Is that the, the fall of Reach? Yes, that, well, that, that's what I'm saying, is that's the significance of the event, is the Spartan 2's, all of them dying, or, well, 90% of them dying. Um, yeah. And you don't play as Spartan 2's, nor do you see any. So, already, okay, that's wrong. We haven't gotten to it yet, but they're gonna tie this game into Halo 1 story, which is a retcon that I also don't like. Um, oh. Like I said, we'll get to that when we get to that, but it, it just... I can sum it up by just saying, I was expecting the book by Eric Nyland, and, well, we already have that. It's the book. <laughs> yeah. For the audience at home, if you want to know, just just read the book. The book is actually pretty good. Pretty good, it's great. You talking to the folks at home? <laughs> yes. Because you've read it. You told me you read it. You probably read it a long time ago. But... Yeah, I was in high school and I read it. So, ten and years you, ago. And you went, what is this Halo crap? This sounds dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. By that point, I had already played a couple of the games. I think I read The Fall of Reach after I played Halo 3. So well, I'm now... taking that weapon for sure. Oh! Uh -huh. Chief, not Chieftain, he's a captain, but... Watch out, to our, uh, to our backs. Worm! <laughs> uh. By the way, legendary difficulty. But this time... This time I'm gonna stand out here. Alright, can you take care of this group? I will take care of the downstairs group. Should be able to. Okay. Actually, come to think of it, I don't even know where the downstairs group spawns in. Oh, there they come in. Alright. Now I need to go back and heal. Shields, shields, shields. <laughs> Wanna dance? Why was the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Did you see the activate icon was just way off in the corner of the map for some reason? Yeah, that's weird. For a half second. I like the song. I don't know what it is yet, but I like this song. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever bothered to appreciate the detail on the weapons that they put in. Like the gravity hammer has little sparks coming off of it, and it's got the jets <laughs> for the crap. <laughs> it's so yeah. it's so uh, it's so absurd. I love it. This is one of my favorite weapons. Grav hammer. Yeah. Everybody loves a grav hammer. Me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the uh, energy sword always. But my actual favorite weapon that they never implemented that I hate is the honor guard staff, which I really wish you could use. Cause my, 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 my uh, hang up is staves. I love. Spears. Do we need jet packs? Yes. This, this is the only section of the game, and I just got ran over. <laughs> but this is this is the uh, only section of the game uh, that requires the use of a particular armor ability. Wow. It's because they were like, we spent all this time making this armor ability. <laughs> and 
run over. Oh. I knew it! I knew it! Next time, I'm going at it with a gravity hammer and see if I can kill it with one. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen! Because <laughs> it happened to me! Well, I saw that they smushed you, but... Ah, oh, it shot me before I could get there. I just, just don't. You're not gonna do it. Uh, also, oh, I'm gonna you, kill it with the ground power. If you do do it, I don't think you'll actually. Yeah, you won't uh, kill it. See? I hit it, but yeah. Right. That's what I was trying to say. You're not going to kill it. Not on legendary. It so. Would make sense, though. So, this is a shipping yard of the future. Interesting. Uh oh. What did you do now? I was trying to get into it. <laughs> oh no, you can't hijack them on this level. They prevent you. I gotta test the immersion. You gotta test the immersion. No, no, no. Yeah, You're not allowed. Apparently. Can't lift things with a forklift. Can't jump into a banshee with a jetpack on. No, no, no. I You're not allowed. Way too easy. You're Did they take allowed. that ability away? The hijack? Hijacks? No, you can still hijack yeah. vehicles. They just don't just let you do it to puzzle. Banshees on certain levels. That's stupid. In the final, the, um, the second to last level, you can do it. They, they finally unlock the ability for you to hijack a Banshee. But for everywhere else in the game, you can't. You're not allowed. That's done. Hey, you know what game that doesn't do that? Hey, Halo 2. That. <laughs> Halo 2, there's a secret super weapon that you have to do a complicated banshee hijack during a certain sequence thing. Oh, really? It's awesome. Seems like most of Halo 2 is awesome. Yeah, most of Halo 2 is awesome, and it's am it's it's amazing that it's awesome because uh, the I game is is unfinished <laughs> and was rushed. Oh, and by the way, I guess I should point out: a, hey, we're on legendary. Maybe don't use the hammer, and and b, the jetpack is legitimately terrible. Yeah. I didn't realize I'm not. <laughs> that time I died to jetpack difficulties. Everybody loves that stupid jetpack and they want it in their video games and I'm I'm the the voice that says why. All it does is make you a target. I think it'd be fine if it wasn't so terrible. Well what makes it terrible? Shields, shields. Uh, limited ability? And, and what do you mean by that? Is it too slow? No, it... I mean, literally, the time limit on being able to use it. I don't think that would change anything. You'd be able to fly and fly and fly around, but you're just too slow, and you're easy to shoot. Because you're out of cover, and you're not moving very fast. You are out of cover and not moving very fast, but I think <laughs> if there wasn't a limit to it, you could manipulate the vertical. Uh, pretty quickly. Like, right. you could drop down to avoid it would, being it would, shot. It would, it would make your head harder to hit. Yeah. Instead, we'll just shoot, you, <laughs> just shoot you in the crotch <laughs> instead. <laughs> it has the potential to add cool gameplay elements, so just because it, like there's what? a limit. See this, see, this is the discussion I always want to have, is like what? All it lets you do is get up high. Uh, uh, <laughs> I switched weapons, it just didn't switch them fast enough, apparently. I know. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to our talk. Like, what? All it lets you do is get up to high places. And it doesn't even let you do oh. it quickly. It would be one Maybe thing. It, it would be one thing if you told. If it was like a thruster pack, right? If it was like the idea is. 
I can go, if, if you could do like rapid boosts, left, right, up, down, that kind of thing, that I can see, because Armored Core does that. But just, yeah, that just, too. just this, I don't get this. Add that too. <laughs> I'm fine with making it better. <laughs> well, I'm glad we agree that my idea is better. Seriously, I mean, pe people like, at yeah, home, people at home, better. play play Armored Core Four and Four Answer. Play both. Find a way to play both. <laughs> it's some of the greatest games ever made. <laughs> and I want From Software to make another Armored Car. <laughs> but not like uh, five, more like four. That'd be my nightmare if they made another one like five. Ugh. Stop shooting me from a... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Mind the hammer guy. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's dead. Um, so... Yeah, I think he's dead. Oh, what, that's not dead than mine. <laughs> so what you probably what? ran into is all weapons have a, um... I don't know what the developer term for it is, but they have kind of a lead-up time when you switch to them before you can, uh, swing them, shoot them, etc. Yeah, it's like a cooldown, essentially. I, I, I don't know what term they have for it, and I can't really come up with one for it. Like a lead-up time? I don't know. A switch ready time. time I think. A ready time. There you go. All right now, what would be a non-suicidal path to getting up here? <laughs> How is your health? Because mine is low. I'm at full. Okay. I really wish I had access to that bubble shield because I like it. Especially on Legendary. It creates cover and it heals you. It's the best of both worlds. I'll let you know if I find a health back. Oh no, oh, I, healed. Healed. I healed. I'm good. I'm good. Now I, want it. now I want that bubble shield. Or sprint. Either one. Because anything's better than this dumb jetpack. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool if you could sprint. Like, if it only activated, like, vertical jetpack mode if you hit jump first. Which would not be hard to implement, by the way. Oh, no. But I can understand. But surely you can understand not wanting to change very much of Halo's formula since it's worked for ten years. I think the armor abilities are a cool addition. I just think they need to be done better. Everybody thinks they could have been done better. Yeah. And most of it boils down to they didn't go far enough and were too concerned with balancing them. Which is a problem Halo 4 has even more so. But we're not there yet. We'll get to Halo 4. Eventually. It may take a while. We are playing on Legendary with skulls. <laughs> Yeah. But we'll get there, folks! <laughs> Alright, now there should it's, be a... Uh, Halo Reach was made by Bungie, right? Correct. It was the last game made by Bungie as part of their contract with Microsoft. Whoa, 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 Jeez, whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell just happened? <laughs> there was so many percussion. Oh, wow! Woo! Anyway, I'm gonna go up here, because I think there's a sniper rifle up here and a DMR. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, Halo Reach was the last game made by Bungie, uh, as per their contract with Microsoft. Uh, they promised my- Ouch! Oh, jeez! Oh, Lord! So, um... So, so they were well on their way out when they made this game. Um... What do you mean by that? This was the last game in their contract with Microsoft. Yes. Meaning, they were probably burnt out on making Halo games anyway. 
I don't think so, because a lot of the things that they put in this game... Like, they put a ton of community features in this game. And they tied... Like, the fact that your, your customized Spartan... Transfers between campaign, multiplayer, and firefight... Like, that, yeah. that takes work. That, that doesn't scream of, oh, we're just gonna put this one out because we're done afterward. I mean, I'm not saying that they entirely ah. were like, yeah, we hate this, and we're done, but... I'll I think... Alright, well, focus rifle. And uh. concussion rifle. I'm trying to take out the guys with the concussion rifles, but... God! But they How's spot, that out for you? <laughs> they spot me before I spot them. All right. Um. What? what, what oh, where were we? Uh. Come on, focus rifle. Where? Where did you go? Where did you go? I miss you so. I want to see your pretty Black face. Black second floor. Um. I. I. I don't. I don't. Um. Good lord! That guy's got a trigger finger on him. Alright, I'm gonna hang back here for a little bit and try to take out the concussion rifle guys. Oh, this tree is not doing any favors right now. Um, <sighs> Got him. There we go. Finally. Oh god. I I now you see what I've been dealing with. Yeah, they don't shoot I you on the ground level. There we go. I got him. But you could shoot them. Okay. Um. I I don't know. I just they they also. Put a lot more work into the story, I guess you could say, in that they tried to do something more movie-like with this game as opposed to the other ones. Yeah. Or let me rephrase that: they tried to do something more serious because Halo One, Two, Three, and ODST are are like your Marvel movie seriousness. Yeah. Whereas for this one, they wanted to be... <laughs> Sorry for bringing it up again. More like the Call of Duty. Which, although, is... Which is kind it's of bizarre. so obvious that's what's happening, though. Which, which, is, which is also bizarre, because even Call of Duty doesn't take itself seriously, because it's ridiculous. Yeah. And no... I, I, I have come around on people saying they tried to copy Call of Duty with this one, with the whole loadouts, things, and whatnot. I've come around on that only for one reason. I think the loadouts came not as a desire to copy Call of Duty, but actually because of the armor abilities. Because they wanted you to be able to spawn with them, they had to think of a way to ensure that you could do that. And the most obvious solution to them was a loadout system. Oh. I don't think them having customizable loadouts in Halo is a bad thing. I, I'm That's of, not my gripe. I'm of two minds about it. On the one hand, I do like that it's just, hey, you know, you want to spawn with a battle rifle or an assault rifle or so on and so forth. I, I, I'll agree with you on that standpoint. But my other half of that is kind of the 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 core loop of Halo is kind of you start with something that's not great and you swap it out by knowledge of the map. Yeah. Uh, time to kill is longer than Call of Duty, so in Call of Duty, what you spawn with matters, whereas in Halo, time to kill is longer, and the games are more about. Um, Positioning and uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a GDC term for it, but it's essentially trying to get the enemy team to go a certain direction. So again, positioning, map control, map control—that's the term. 
And so, you having to swap out your weapon and find things on the map is more conducive to that core gameplay loop, as opposed to the Call of Duty model. That's why I'm against loadouts, because they take away the having to find stuff. Especially when everybody just sets up the loadouts to give them a DMR immediately. <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah. That's what I experienced with this online. Everybody had the DMR and that was it. That's right, because headshot weapons are the only ones that matter. Don't tell me how to live my life. Take it. Oh, you died. Yes, I was an idiot, and I actually forgot about the mechanic I taught you about, which was you can pick up a health kit to start recharging your shield. I could have used that to my advantage, and I didn't. Because I panicked. Yeah. I'm not supposed to do that, but I did. Alright, now this section's kind of rough. We've got Fuel Rod Jeez. Chieftain to deal with. Oh, did you not pick uh, up the Fuel Rod gun outside? A couple grunts dropped it. Pick up a what? There's a fuel rod gun right back here. I was thinking you were going to pick it up. I did not pick it up because oh. I still got ammo on my DMR. Oh, good. Pick up my ammo and start headshotting people. I'll take this. Yeah. I've got five shots of sniper and nine shots of DMR. Well, I'll let you take point then and I'll keep my stuff because I have a shotgun and a fuel rod cannon. Alright, let me recharge really quick. Okami, you complained about the jetpack, but you're using that to get the high ground. You're fuck such a hypocrite. And shut up. That's what I think. <laughs> uh, there's more ammo for that back here. Oh, there is. Oh, what? All right, on my way. I think. On my way. On my way. I will take it. I will take it. Hooray! <laughs> An avocado. Avocado. Thanks. Actually, if I had to describe what the fuel rod gun looked like, I would probably start describing a pineapple. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the commenters chew on that one for a minute. <laughs> Shotgun Chan, not not really giving me her best here. I need to pick up a different weapon. Oh, come Why? on. Why? Why? <laughs> I thought he was dead. He was not dead. And then I tried to hit him. But that didn't work. <laughs> We're getting really good at this weapon swapping thing, though. Oh, he's got a shield. I'm sorry, I expected, you know, three fuel rod blasts to his face to do him in, but, you know, that was stupid of me. We'll get there, folks, don't worry. Well, the hardest part's behind us. Now we just have to execute. I uh, sure. And that's our strong suit, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Toast. You decide! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, good lord! There we go. At least I can execute. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's not a. Damn it. <laughs> well, at least I can execute. Good for you. Make sure I switch to plasma grenades. <sighs> okay. Yeah, grenades don't work. Well, they do work pretty well. They just don't stick to somebody unless you throw it really hard. At I'm that sure point, they'd be dead. I'm sure a Spartan could stick a human grenade. <laughs> and then down comes the Banshee. I wish we got a checkpoint, but we don't ever. All right, destroy the turret. Well, that's one. I'll take out number two. Done. Get distance, get distance, get distance. Uh. 
Alright, Amber's dead. That guy's dead. There's only one grunt left. Oh, thank God, checkpoint. Checkpoint! Yankee Niners Echo Dispatch. Landing pad is clear. Send in the evac. I have like five shots total. Alright. Let me in. Well, we are gonna get in, actually. Pleasure jumping with you, Spartan. We'll Come on, get in the turret. There we go. You get on that falcon. Make sure those transports make it out in one piece. This is your ride, Spartan. I'm in. Uh, you can kill me, by the way. I just want to see if I can destroy your uh, helicopter. I just said you can kill me. We've all got orders to evacuate. I know I can kill you. Can I kill no, your helicopter? I'm, I'm telling. I'm saying yes. You you can you can blow us off. Really? <laughs> Give it enough time. I don't believe it. This is evac dispatch. Copy that. Proceed at your discretion. Mid town airspace is way too hot. It's gonna take an alternate route. Delta one five to dispatch. Oh, whoops. Hello. Uh huh. So this sequence is a little bit. This is more cinematic. You can die here. Yeah, I'm going into this, not at full health. Well, no, so what I'm saying is that this one's more forgiving than the grenade launcher one. You don't have to kill everything. You just have to hit the guy shooting at you. Oh. But I should still try to find a uh, health back. Which there are none. No. There are not. I will take the lead Falcon. You can take the supporting Falcon. Alright. Um, whoa! <laughs> I didn't like the fact that I was taking a while to get there. This is more of a just kind of um, showing you, hey, things not going so great. <laughs> uh. For the war effort. Hence the dramatic music that you can't hear. <laughs> but the dramatic music you're listening to, folks at home, is brought to you by Andre Setkov. <laughs> Alright, now, uh, turn to your rear. We're gonna have Banshees on us that we do need to kill. They will kill us. So, they should be showing up any second now. Which sucks, because there's a... Oh, did you already get them? Yeah. Oh, they showed up in front of us first, and then okay. they circled around okay. behind so us. That, that's why I, I messed up. So in case uh -oh. you didn't hear, there's a civilian transport that's about to take off to try to leave. Then the Banshees just all of a sudden fall into the ocean. I don't know where you're looking, but... Behind us. Once we got past their, uh... Like, once they got outside our vision range, they, uh... Like, just fell into the ocean. Uh-huh. Like, the, the AI stopped working, they just fell down. Which, the same thing happens in Red Dead, whenever you're, uh, like, driving a boat too far away from land, your boat just sinks.
I need you to arm those batteries and fire those pistols on the set the terminal. Understood? Corvette's been a pain in my ass for too damn long. Give it hell, Spartan. I love how there's there's enemy air just watching us have a casual conversation with this guy. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid. Uh, but it's not impressive. But it's cinematic, though. Don't you uh, feel things? Don't you feel the desperation of the situation? I'd feel the desperation of the situation more if it were realistic. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we're not staying in this Warthog for very long. All okay. we have to do here is we have to hit two buttons to activate the missile batteries, and then we have to hit another button. Okay, so. Oh, crap, I forgot about the turret. <laughs> I forgot. I've been playing too much Halo 1. <laughs> you have? I, I forgot that the day the Wraiths have that gun turret on the front. Because <laughs> uh. they don't have that in Halo 1. Yeah. Okay, so the way that I tend to do this level... Okay, he's dead. The way that I tend to do this level is we're going to roll up over here. And since I still have the useless jetpack that is only useful for a couple circumstances, I'm going to jetpack up here. I'm just going to rush to hit the button, and uh, I'm going to leave. Ah! Except I'll die. Oh, you're going to die. Eh, well, you know. Take it. Okay. My engines are hot. Waiting for your go. Copy that, 7 Echo 3. Keep working on it. Keep on. Okay, there's button one. First battery is online. <laughs> Did I get uh, stuck? Covenant are banging on my I don't even know how we died there. I think I got stuck. Here, just jump at the passenger seat. Uh -oh. We're just gonna just jump at the passenger seat. We're just gonna leave all this. Right, thing. All right. I'm in a rush because it's 6.30 and I promised you would be done. <laughs> oh. I think that she's already teaching. Hi. Well, she is already teaching. Alright. As long as I'm not too loud, it'll be fine. Alright. Okay, give me my health back. There you go. Alright, so we hit this button. Okay, that's button number one. And now we need to go across the way to go get button number two. Families and wounded on board. I gotta get airborne. <clears throat> and checkpoint, thank goodness. So we have a warthog or a warthog down here, but there's a wraith. Oh! <laughs> Which immediately got you. So on the uh, on the turret is a grunt. If you can just headshot it, then we can just take out the wraith, no problem. Yeah, I've got a fuel. Well, I say we could take out the Wraith no problem as I watch you shoot a rock. <laughs> you die again? Yeah, I did. Wraith got me. Oh, whoops. Alright. I've got a weapon right. for this. It would help if I don't miss. There we go. Okay. There we go. Wraith dealt with. Nice. Now we drive it. You can if you want. It's a sitting duck and it's already mostly broken. I wouldn't recommend that personally. But you can run interference for me so that I can just press this button. Or you can die. Uh oh. <laughs> that's why I, I don't. The other wraith. Yeah, well, that's why I don't recommend getting in the wraith because you're basically a sitting duck. You're really big and slow, and wraiths are terrible. 
They were good in Halo 2, and they just got progressively worse. Uh oh. Much like a lot of things, they were great in Halo 2, and they progressively got worse. <laughs> okay, EMP, and I died. You look pretty, though. I do look gorgeous. In my white <laughs> and pink armor, with my fantastic posterior. This is why we think you're a weeb. <laughs> Have you seen the shirts I wear? I'm totally a weeb. Okay. Cool. And we oh, got a checkpoint. Check Sweet. All right, I will drive this thing, and I'm not gonna bother fighting the other turret, the other wraith. All I want it for is to kill enemies over here. And we're dead. Oh, we're not. Amazing. Can't quite hit that guy. Oh. Bail, 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 bail. Get out, get out. Okay, now we hit this button. And we got another checkpoint, thank goodness. Okay, and now all I have to do is hit a final button and we're good to go. A lot of button pressing in this game. Yes. Well, you know. It is what it is. So now, I'm gonna hop in this Warthog. And I'm just gonna end this level because the end of this level is really easy once you know about it. Are you going to leave me to fight these things by myself? Uh, just don't die. Just do me a favor. Well, of course, I say that and then I immediately die because... Even if there are three brute chieftains staring at you as you push the button, it's fine. That's it. They've no okay, got it. Cool. And we're done! Hooray! <laughs> This is six. Go ahead, Noble Two. We picked up your transponder about an hour ago, but it could not risk open comms. Covenant have this city sealed tight. We're getting nothing from George. He didn't make it. Understood. Oh what damn. The situation at Starport exit? No, you don't remember that? That's what that's what the last mission was. Right. He sacrificed himself. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. We're gonna have to re record this level. <laughs> My recording cut off halfway through. La da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine though. All right, everybody. Yeah. We'll Feel see. You, keep yours. We'll see you next time, and mine will be labeled Part Two: Redux. <laughs> <laughs>